Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we learn about identifying expense SQL statements. Okay. So in the last video, we have learned about the shared cursor cache. It's an area. It's a cache. It consists of the all the parsing information of an SQL statement. Okay. So say like if a statement is executed again, then second time. Uh, this parsing need not be done again rather the information which already exists in the shared cursor cache is reused okay so it will reduce the execution time of an sql so how will identify the expense of sql statements so first we have to go to the transaction st04 okay and we have to go to this performance overview SQL statement analysis in that shared cursor cache. Okay, so in this example, which I'm showing, the database is Oracle. Okay, the same process was used for other databases also. So we go to the performance in ST04, ST04 or ST04 in, we go to the performance, go to SQL statement analysis, and in that shared cursor cache. Now Double click on that, we'll get one more screen. So, in that, in the above screen, please provide the buffer gets as 50,000, for example. And in the list, sort options, select buffer gets radio button and execute. Okay, so see, give the buffer gets as 50,000. 50,000 means it's high. Okay, so for example, we'll give 50,000. And in the list, we have to sort it depending upon this buffer gates and we run it. And this displays all the SQL statements whose buffer gates are more than 50,000. Okay. So, we'll get the list of SQL statements whose buffer gates are more than 50,000 and they are sorted in descending order. Now, as highlighted in above screen, identify the top 5 or 10 SQL statements as per the buffer gets these are expensive or costly SQL statements so that's what the statements which are having more buffer gets are these are the expensive or the costly SQL statements also look at the execution columns and figure out the value if the value is greater for executions it means that the SQL is frequently getting executed and it is worth tuning that statement so similarly you check the number of executions also if the executions are also high, that means that this expensive statement is also executed frequently. So then it has to be tuned. Now, then click on the corresponding SQL statement, which opens the SQL statement as below. So in the screen, just double click on the SQL statement. A new window will be opened. In the above screen, click on the explain icon, which opens up another window. So here, now comes the actual part. You have to go and explain the SQL. Okay. So then it will show you the execution plan of the SQL statement. In the above window, you can view the estimated cost to execute the SQL, the estimated rows to be fetched, the estimated CPU cost, and the estimated IO cost. Okay. So here we will see the SQL statement. We have the execution plan okay and it shows you the estimated cost to execute the sql the estimated rows then the io the cost for the io and cpu okay and it also shows like what index it will be used what index is used and whether it's a full scan or not so all the information the entire execution plan of the sql statement is presented here Ideally, all of these parameter values should be low for an optimized SQL statement. For expensive SQL statements, these values will be of very high impacting system performance. So, if the SQL statement is performance is good, then these values should be less. If they are high, that means that the performance of the SQL statement is bad okay? or it's rather not good it is an expensive statement here in this example it is showing that index fast full scan of this index okay 
So we have to check whether a full scan is present or not. This means that indexing is not proper for the table involved in this SQL statement. Okay. So here if it's doing a full scan, the index, it's using an index but it's doing a full scan. That means whatever indexing, we, indexes which are used here, that those are not correct. Okay. So something is wrong with the execution plan. Okay. So before the SQL query is executed, an execution plan is generated. Okay. In the parsing phase. Okay. Then it will check uh, two, three plans will be generated. So depending upon like whichever cost is less, SQL statement is executed in that way. Okay. In this case, this is the execution plan. Okay, it's the cost is high, the IO and the CPU costs are also high, and we have a full scan also. Uh -huh. The index is doing a full scan on the table, so that means like indexing is something not proper. So when we double click on the table name or the index name which is going for a full scan, we'll get one more window like this, and there we will see other details like the last statistics day okay so all we have an update stats which have to be executed on all the tables and indexes okay so if those stats are not up to date then the execution plan will not be generated correctly okay so we'll get other information like uh, what are the levels of b tree the leaf blocks everything okay so here the important thing which we need to check is when was the last stats run? Okay. Now, if, the, if that data is too old, it is recommended to update stats for this table or index. This improves the performance of the SQL statement as it provides correct recent stats so that the execution plans for SQL statements will be done properly. So, if that data is old, then we have to do a refresh stats. We have to update the stats again. If the stats are up to date, then only the execution plan will be generated correctly okay so why this concept of update stats come because we do a lot of insertions and deletions in the table okay so depending upon the current situation on the table the execution plan is generated okay so if the stats are old then this parser it will take that old stats of the table and it will generate an execution plan using them which will lead to improper usage of indexes or whatever it is and it will shoot up the cost of execution of the SQL so that's why we need to have a periodic runs of this update stats on all tables and indexes Due to outdated stats, the execution plan won't be proper, leading to high row fetches, increasing CPU and I/O costs. That's why, for all the tables and indexes, we need to have a latest update stats. Okay. So here, because the index is doing a full scan, we have checked, uh, or like when were the last update stats executed. And because they were old, we have come to a conclusion that update stats have to be done. Sometimes uh, the full scan is not done. However, the costs are high. Then it's something related to the tuning of the SQL statement. Like there is something like, you know, loop inside loop have to be tuned or the where clause have to be tuned or whatever it is. Then you have to tune the SQL statement itself. Okay. So this is how from ST04. From the we start with the shared cursor cache, then you give a random value like 50,000 buffer gets. Okay, so we'll get a list of SQL statements whose buffer gets are very high, and you sort them on the buffer gets. And we'll also have a look at the number of executions. If those executions are also high, that means like this costly, expensive SQL statement is using is being used more number of times. And we have to tune them then we can double click on any of the top expensive statements okay then we have to go and explain it so in the screen 
we will be presented with the execution plan of that SQL statement okay so here we will find out all the details like what is the cost to execute the SQL, the speed of those, then the cost CPU and the IO cost and all these things okay so if the cost is high then we have to find out like if, if there is something problem with the SQL statement or uh, maybe the update stats are not up to date okay and this update stats is done from DB20 sometimes even the DBA team they also do update stats they actually schedule a periodic update stats okay but sometimes whenever required we can do it from the SAP level also okay so uh, update stats are very important because they play an important role okay during the parsing phase when whenever the execution plan is generated the parser it will look at the stats which are available for that corresponding table okay and depending upon that it will create an execution plan okay so if we have old stats then the parser will use the old stats and will and it will generate a plan which will lead to uh, high IO CPU okay more row fetches will be there the performance of the query is degraded okay so uh, this video shows an example like how we will find out the expensive SQL statements from SD04 and we will get this information from the shared cursor caching thank you